every set is an element of its own power set. Remember that if S is a set, then the power set of S, denoted P of S, is the set of all subsets of S. So again, the power set of S contains all subsets of S. Here is an example. We've got this set containing the elements A and B, and we've written out the power set. And you'll notice that the power set of the set containing A and B contains the set containing A and B. That is, this set is an element of its own power set. Notice the other elements in the power set. They are, of course, all of the subsets of the original set. We've got the empty set, the set containing A, the set containing B, and then again, the set itself. Once more, this is no coincidence. Every set is an element of its own power set, and it's pretty easy to see why. If we just consider an arbitrary set S, how do we show that something is a subset of S? By definition, in order to show that some set A is a subset of S, we need to show that every element of A is an element of S. So here's a very obvious example of that. Any element from S, so we might say if X is an element of S, just to represent an arbitrary element from S, if X is an element of S, what do we know about X? Well, we know that it's in S. Every element of S is an element of S. This, of course, is extremely obvious, and what it implies is that S is a subset of itself by definition. So every set is a subset of itself. But then what is the power set of S? Well, remember, the power set of a set is the set of all of its subsets. We just showed that every set is a subset of itself. Thus, every set is an element of its own power set. This is even true with the always interesting empty set. Just like every other set, the empty set is a subset of itself. And so it is an element of its power set. And in fact, it happens to be the only element of its power set. The empty set being a subset of itself can seem a little confusing to people. Think of it like this. If the empty set wasn't a subset of itself, then by definition, that would mean that the empty set contains an element that the empty set doesn't. And of course, that can't be. I mean, the sentence itself is an obvious contradiction. Not only is it not possible for a set to contain and not contain an element, but it's not possible for the empty set to contain any elements, period, by its very definition. So indeed, any element of the empty set is an element of the empty set. It just happens to be the case that there are no such elements. So this is one of those things we call a vacuous truth. But regardless, the the empty set is a subset of itself, and thus it is an element of its power set. And every set is an element of its own power set. Thank you for the memory never having said hello. It's easy as one, two, three, just grab your head and go, leave your body on the ground.